Close your eyes and stay with your breath. Be aware of the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your gaze or your attention to the breath as continuous as possible. We live in a world that has lots of ups and downs. Sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold, too wet, too dry, too windy, not enough wind. The world is never really perfect, and it's changing on us all the time. And the problem is our minds keep changing too. In fact, the Buddha said our minds can change faster than anything else. And that can be a source of trouble, but we can also turn it into something good. If the mind is headed in the wrong direction, you can turn it right around. What you have to learn how to do, though, is to give the mind a good, solid place to stay inside. We start with the precepts, because the precepts are principles that we hold to all the time, no matter what. The Pali word for precept, sila, is very close to the word for rock, sela. That's the kind of quality you want to develop in your precepts, that they're solid, reliable, not easily broken. When you have that as a basis on your with your external activity, then, of course, it becomes part of your internal activity as well. You make up your mind you're going to stick with these precepts, and your mind becomes more and more constant. It makes it a lot easier for the mind to settle down and have a state of concentration that you can rely on, that you can depend on, something that doesn't change with the changes in the world outside. Sometimes we're told that the idea of an independent self is the source of all evil, but the Buddha never said that. There's some ways you have to keep your mind independent, because with the ups and downs of the world, you don't want your mind to go up and down along with them. The world can be bad, but you don't want to be bad along with it. You don't want to have your goodness only when the world is good. You want your goodness to be steady all the way across the board, wherever you are, wherever you go. Whatever happens outside, you want to have the steadiness of virtue, concentration, discernment. Because the discernment sees the world as all the same. Everything that you could hold on to in the world out there goes up and down. It's all inconstant. If you're going to look for something reliable, you have to look inside. So you have the constancy of your precepts, the constancy of your concentration, and the constancy of your, your discernment. That provides you with a good, solid basis, something you can rely on inside. You can learn how to depend on yourself, and when you can depend on yourself, then you can live safely in this world. Otherwise, you travel along and it's like a highway where there are pumps and then there are big potholes. And your mind goes up and down with the bumps and the potholes. But if you stay on the Buddha's path, it's a path that doesn't have potholes and doesn't have bumps. It's a smooth path all the way. It may not be easy all the way, but it's smooth and it doesn't put you in danger. In the canon, they talk of the example of people who leave the path and go off in their own ways. And they end up with their carts broken. They get stuck. It's a long time before they can get back on the highway of the Buddhist teachings. So stay on the highway, the highway that's been well built, that's solid. And when you have this solidity inside you, not only do you benefit, but the people around you have something solid they can depend on as well. So try to develop this quality of precepts like a rock, a mind like a rock, discernment like a rock. It's not swayed by the opinions of the world. Something you can hold to steadily. This is where you provide safety for yourself and for the world around you.